All the way from Peru, got the flag on the back here. Man, I dripped out with the cape and everything. <laughs> Definitely love to see it here, but bringing that regional pride to the stage. That we talked about that's one of our favorite parts of fighting games. One of our favorite parts of King of Fighters as well is that regional pride. Of course, Peru versus Brazil is going to be an absolute incredible match coming up. You can just see the happiness on his face. Happy to be here. The entrance is one of the greatest parts. Say like, as you should be. I mean, an incredibly stacked tournament. It has just been it has been a grind for all the players, all the spectators, everybody even involved. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We, we thought we were uh, we were in for a treat, you know, for that top 24, but I think we're in for an even bigger one here in top eight. You know, Funky with, of course, great qualifying match. And coming up, his opponent from Brazil, FK! And F. Kang, who already has had some very impressive matches, even to make it into this place. You can see, taking it in, excited to be moving, excited to be rolling, excited to be here. CEO 2023. Oh, man, I already had, uh, de definitely had one of the uh, the most uh, nail-biting qualifiers to get yeah. here with that match with Arslan Ash. So, has already uh, had some, uh, <laughs> been on the edge of his seat a couple times already this bracket. Yeah, absolutely, but, you know, going into top eight after defeating Arslan Ash is definitely a big win here for FK. So, has to feel good about being on the winner's side. And I'm excited to see how this match is going to turn out between these two. It has been already a great CEO already. So excited really for this. Been. The very first top eight here, KOF kicking things off. What a pleasure. Yeah, definitely good to get to see the arena all warmed up as we continue to roll throughout the weekend. There will be top eights uh, through and through here in the arena from now on, which is going to be very, very fun to get to watch. Uh, I mean, culminating at the top with Street Fighter. But for now, dude, SNK continues to roll the early morning KOF. I love it. I do love it too. It's, it's a great way to start off your day. Just a nice shot of KOF, right? Nice espresso of KOF. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Well, it looks like they're getting ourselves set, getting our, our buttons all checked up before we get into our characters. Oh, dude, another one that's going to be uh, a Fast and Furious for sure. <laughs> I feel like that's going to be the case for a lot of these matches as well until, you know, we get start to get way later on into the bracket. Uh, everyone's hungry. It's early in the morning. They want to get in. They want to push their way through the bracket here, especially in the winter side when you still have that extra life to give, right, in losers. You're willing to take a few extra risks. Also, one of the nicest things about having an early morning uh, top eight is that you have all day to celebrate. So <laughs> if, you're able to <laughs> if you're able to take it home, you're able to get that belt, you're going to be able to, uh, you know, We'll have a little swagger in the walk with the belt over your shoulder the, all, the, all throughout the rest of the weekend. Let's just hope they didn't celebrate a little too hard last night qualifying. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of Joe, we mentioned speaking of the devil, and yes. he will appear here. We are going to have Joe in top eight. Can you believe it? Of course, backed up by Kyo and Shizuru. Shizuru has been an absolute insane character. But man, this other team. I know. We've talked about this a lot. It is, as far as team <laughs> compositions go, these are my two favorite players in the top eight. Uh, definitely fun to get to watch. Ralph on the one side facing off against Joe. I feel like we saw this a ton in season one, 1.0 of the game because these two characters both were in incredibly strong spots, both toned down a little bit but still gonna be a brawl. <laughs> yeah, absolutely effective characters. Of course, Ralph kind of traded that 5D for the 2C, right? But yeah. he still puts out the damage. He still has the OTG with the Superman punch. He still has the DP that hits both sides. And those are a lot of really good tools for a character. Plus, if you're picking Ralph, I think you're just picking him for, you're picking him for the energy. Look at this, I'm just saying. But here we go, getting into the match. Does get the jump over the first fireball. Not gonna get too much reward for it though, but still gonna get a ton of real estate into the corner. Yeah, but here we go, resetting with that 2C, tries to go for the empty jump low, and you got to be careful about figuring out when it's your turn to press against Ralph. Already close to stun, but you might not even have enough life left to get stunned at this point. Oh no, dude, that's looking like the secret. Maybe it's never your turn to drop. <laughs> you just have to hold all that pressure, but there's a nice Tiger upper just sitting back trying to throw out these tornadoes and zone out. You don't want to overextend too much, but that EX turn punch flows straight through. So honestly and truly just kind of handling the first character there. Chino, like an incredibly strong. It took just a tiny bit of damage there. The jump CD is going to solve some of those issues, though. But what a great position there. I like to jump over greedy stuff. 
Yeah, and you see we are definitely just fishing with that 2C there from Chino, right? Trying to get the big damage starters. I really love the use of the 5C as well. Just long reaching, and there it is, the DP hitting the other side. No cross-ups for you. Yeah, we see that super off. That's one of the strongest reasons to play route is because you kind of have, can ignore that situation. Unfortunately, though, the run underneath kind of misses the inputs up. He's able to get the mix. Yeah, there's the back dash putting yourself into the wall. Nice with the 5A stuffing out of the air, able to swap sides, and now F King is back into the corner here. And look at the way each of those punches just chunks your guard gauge. The block into the throw. What a way to spend the meter. Kind of recognize that Chino was committed to the block there, and I mean, it's kind of an iron fortress. What a better way to get through it. But speaking of people who are able to break through iron fortresses, little command grow action. The other side, Clark, the hero we deserve. One of the most snowball heavy characters in the entire game. Staggers the final hit of the wreck of their EX red kick. But it might be FK being the one who's snowballing. There's the level one. We get the pick up. Give me your face. A little too far for the 2D. Still okay, though. 2D is a great neutral tool as well for Clark, but here we go. EX backbreaker. Gonna take him to the corner as well. Yep, gonna drop the elbow. Yeah, the elbow does give you better Oki, a little bit less damage. That's all right. There it is. Backbreaker again. And we spent the level one. Get the kill. Dude, after two standing Bs, it looked like he was gonna be just a little too far away, but it's not gonna matter. That is like such a tricky situation. That's like max, max distance. Look, rule of thumb, if Clark throws you twice, round's over. <laughs> uh, it's, honestly, I respect that. Well, let's see how we're going to be able to get in on Chizu. Oh, there's we're one. In. We're in, we're in. <laughs> the X tackle goes for the rolling death cradle. We want to throw her all the way into the corner. From mid-screen, gets the low. And JA. JA is one hell of an air tool here for Clark. Especially if he gets that counter hit in the air-to-air -air situations, being able to go into that EX tackle. Oh, you saw that little buffer. Got to hang out. Buffering the 2D. Yep, you can hit the clone. Yeah, that's exactly why you see him putting out that 2D, right? Trying to just stuff the clones when they come out. Shatterstrike is going to whiff, unfortunately, throwing away some of that meter, but still in a very strong position at the moment. Just has to find that one touch. Oh, oh my two god! Punch. Are you kidding me? Rolling Death Trail back into the corner, and that's game number one. We definitely was not expecting to turn punch in a situation like that, and apparently neither was FK, because that was uh, definitely what a chase down. Yeah, absolutely. Gotta take a swig of water after that one. Think about, okay, what went wrong there? <laughs> Clark went wrong, that's what happened. Hey, listen. Again. Hey, we're cutting down on the rules. Only needed one. <laughs> you're right, you're right. I mean, he's just such a snowball heavy character. One of those characters that has been kind of flying under the radar when it comes to all the balance patches. Not I getting changed too much, because honestly, where he's at is very solid. I think that he's right where he needs to be. Yeah, he needs it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the translation. Looks like it should be okay, though. No deciding of the character switching. No order switch. It's going to be straight back into it. No, I think this team composition is still really good for Epping. It's just dealing with that problem character of Clark, right? You gotta kinda zone him out, go allow him to get you can't really get in, right? You have to play that space game. It can be a little difficult sometimes uh, against that character. But right now, doing a great job against Ralph here. Putting in a ton of damage with the knee loops. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> what a rundown. Okay. No fear in the heart of Chino Funky here. Here we go. Level one on the ground. Go for the OTG. Absolutely. Give that extra take of damage. But runs right into the big boot. Yeah, just jumping around trying to throw out that CD. Trying to find one solid hit. There's the slide. Should be huge if you can get through Ralph. Joe, I think, has a pretty decent situation coming into Clark and is able to get the jab to beat the roll. So here we go. I, I like this matchup. I do. I think it's good that FK kind of forced the situation a little bit. As scary as it is, you got back more health for doing that instead of just trying to run down the clock. You know you're in a dangerous scenario and you need as much health as you can get against Clark. Push block into a good CD. Closes the distance. It's going to spend the super. It's going to take it all the way to the wall. Gets the frame kill also, building us on that meter with the Tiger knee. Clean jumping. This is going to hurt Proxy. Still has a bar. Are right, you going to spend it here? Just a double DP. No, he is going to spend it, but it's not quite enough. One touch oh, away. No. Oh, no. The hop in from Clark. And this is where it can all crumble. There's the turn punch. Get tackle. Yep. Get that extra damage. You get that corner positioning. Oh, no. You kidding me? Listen. Are you kidding me? I got tossed. All of you got tossed. <laughs> this is... The mania, dude. 
<laughs> Clark Mania. <laughs> Clark's running wild. But that's alright. F King still has Kyo and Chizuru oh. left on deck, and this should absolutely be a dead Clark. Spend the cash, get rid of that problem character, and now you're in a much better situation here going into Hydra. But Hydra is no slouch either. I have said it a million times, and I'll continue to say it. He's definitely the best character that doesn't get talked about. I, I recently, I think people have started to uh, to see it a little bit more with the how he has been handling things. But Hydra really scary in these situations. But Kyo again, a bully. He kind of handled these situations that Hydra tries to set up. Yeah, I mean it's CD jumping CD. The Rekas, Kyo has so many safe ways to just get in and establish pressure. And if you guess wrong or press a button, you're gonna get a ton of damage for it. And unfortunately, guess is wrong there with the DP and is gonna get blown up. One one. Okay, so the back and forth between the two, and that really was just all it was. Uh, the, the point more victory was more than enough to be able to sway things. That's that's just how it has been, and that how it is, is sometimes in certain matchups. But between these two, it's definitely feeling like the vibe. The uh, I feel like Joe versus Ralph really is going to decide it all. I mean, especially when you're so evenly matched up, right? It all matters about how much life you have going into the second character. And he did a really good job rushing down Ralph and shutting down Ralph before the time got too low so we could get that extra health back going against Ooh, Clark just as a contingency plan. We're going to switch up the order. Ralph versus Joe is not going to have to be the problem. We're going to see how Hydran actually deals with it. Hydran, I like him on point. And I, and I like I like how Kizzy describes his character. He's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> he is a liar. He, he lures you with a false sense of security. You think he's his owner, right? He's throwing out all these fireballs, doing these flash kicks, and then truth is, he just wants you to get in close so he can start mixing you up. That's very true. Listen, he has uh, some of the most consistent and stable mix-up off of his touches because he can end in the command throw. Ready? Go! And we talk about this lanky man just jumping around too, looking so goofy, but all right. FK starting off strong, the CD into the fireball, already walking Chino down to the corner. Oh, what a jump over though, nice reposition. Just to hop over. You're trying to stay at that perfect range where you can threaten Joe with the 2C, but unfortunately, that's a range that Joe is so comfortable to play. For sure, look at that, the 2B coming out, getting the full confirm off of this. And it's still going, Tiger D comes out too, double knees. So far, unfortunately, this switch here to Hyrum does not look like it is working out. At the moment, blocks the cross up attempt as well. Small punish, but nothing, nothing really to write home about. Back it off in this life. Differential is just, I was going to say, looking insurmountable. It has become insurmountable. Epkang takes the point war, and that has been the deciding factor a lot of times in these matches. And even more so, this is the healthiest Joe has been oh going into Clark now. And that confidence on the run-up throw. Throw the grappler? That's crazy. Here we go, trade back to full screen. And oh no, whiffing the tiger upper. He just vacuumed him in with that off the 2C. Here we go, we okay. want the Oki. Oh, still okay. He's able to go for the 2C. That's crazy that he's still able to get the punish off of that. We're going to go for the Oki again. Jumping CD, get the pressure on, hit him with the close keys. Oh, didn't work out though. Air to air, trades. Every single hit adding up here. Yeah, be careful, can't jump fireballs. Oh, two, but it doesn't matter. Gets the jab. So smart to not overcommit and jump a fireball. F King, all he's he's stoned the fireball and he's just buffering. He's like, please, I dare you. Take those boots off the ground, bro. And that is also one of the downsides, one of the weaknesses of Joe, having some of those buttons that do whip on crouching opponents, right? He puts you in those scary situations, but here we are, back to Clark versus Kyo. Mm, very nice. Juggled anywhere. Another pivotal part of this matchup here. Lots of bar on the side of FK. Spend some of that defensively. I like that a lot. You don't want to be stuck in the corner against Clark, especially with the way that Chino has been playing. Oh, what a whiff punish. Yes. Hit again, close to the distance. Funky is going to be checking your spacing at all times. You're not allowed to whiff anything when that 2D is available. Or even the way that he's been utilizing 2C so far with Clark has been incredible. Wow. Hold up back. Trying to escape from anything here. There's the level one. Not going to be able to get an OTG. Was not high enough to whiff the Rekkas. Oh, but we are in a good position here. Just needs to find that touch or that throw. Rolls backwards, goes for the neutral jump. Rolls a little too high. It's all right. The chip damage is going to be enough to close it out. And now we are at set point for FK. Nerve-wracking stuff. In a perfect world here, Ralph really needs to be able to save me. Here. You need to, I think you need to go into this anchor matchup having a quick max available if you can. It's so important to be able to get those confirms. Feels like we're flashback to a year ago with Anchor Ralph here in top eight. But now we do have maximum available. Oh my god, anything now. Any touch, even chip damage. Ooh. Nice, just avoiding the Ralph punch there. But even machine gun punches, not gonna be enough to kill, but there we go. Dive punch hits. <laughs> 
baby, here we go. Final game, final round, down to the anchors. Full health round. But of course, one of these things is not like the other. Look at the meter here on F Tank's side. Has to get through the wall that is the Chizuru clones. I like this though. Has come into this with, I was gonna say, a quick max on his side, but unfortunately now it's gonna be locked out of his own. A ton of damage to come through. We've seen these comebacks before in these high stress situations. Don't count Gino out yet. Great throw tech there. Throws out the standing D. Oh, and here's the no. touch. Immediately into the level three. Yep. Okay. Two rocket punch. Yep. Getting that extra damage. Saving that extra bar as well. Dude. But the two D comes on out. What a block there. The empty jump low was a nice oh attempt, God, but is not going to be fooled again. Good defense Winner. is able to persevere. F King is going to head on forward. Yeah, wearing his heart on his sleeve there, you can see the excitement to be able to move on to winner's finals here in a very hard-fought match down to final game, final round. That's as stressful as it gets.